Keep it locked with your boy on the ones and twos. Going in on the wheels of steel. You're listening to the boss of the big ball. No man is safe from That's how I'm living. That's how we do it. That's just the way it is. Give That's it the reason why I came to you. Drink and women and money. Good morning, Las Vegas, and all of my sports betters around the world. You're rocking with the boss of the big board. JP, the ticket, and Vegas scoreboard express back at you live from the KSHB studios here in Las Vegas. 107.1 FM and AM 1400. Again, thank you guys so much for rocking with us. We've got a special day for you today. Going to be getting into some college football with the SEC. Got my main man on the line with me, Brian Snow from Big Snowman in the Morning, another VSX Digital Sports contributor. Also a host coming up this fall on VSX Digital Sports Networks with Snowman in the Morning. Brian, are you on the line with me? Go ahead. I am right here, my friend. It is a pleasure to be back with you. That's what I'm talking about. You hang tight on the line when we get back from this short commercial break. Again, you guys stay with me. We're giving you the sports bets and the picks that pay. Got some preseason coming up in the second half hour with my main man, Ron, third down best bets. You're going to want to stay tuned for that. A lot of excellent play from the rookies so far in preseason. We have seen it, and we're also going to talk about that injury to Devontae Adams in Raiders camp. I've been telling you guys they were a dog that's barking. Got to get him nursed back to health. So it's a big day here at the big board. Again, you guys can get over to my Instagram at JB the Ticket. Give me a follow there. Going to be hooking you up with a lot of great deals and also my website, VegasScoreBoardExpress.com. So you guys keep it locked and stay tuned. Brian Snow, you follow him on Instagram at Big Snowman 721 And, of course, my main man, Ron Third Down Best Bets. You can follow him on Instagram at RaiderHawk1. So you guys keep it locked. I'll be back real shortly to give you this grease. But most importantly, support our sponsors, and we can all get some money. You're listening to the boss of the big ball, J.P. the Ticket. Vegas Scoreboard Express. Giving you that grease. Kick off the football season with Drizzly.com. Score big with your favorite drinks delivered right to your doorstep. From ice cold brews to game day cocktails, we've got the perfect lineup for your football gatherings. Visit VegasScoreboardExpress.com and click the Drizzly. Now let's get the party started. Drink responsibly must be of legal drinking age. Delivery and availability may vary. Skip your cable bill this month and join the action with JB and Fubo TV. Get seven days free, 15% off your first month. No credit check, no deposit, no installation hassle. Go to FuboTV.com slash JB. Sign up, download the app, and start watching games. Enjoy being a subscriber after the first month. Easy cancellation anytime. Regional restrictions apply. Sign up at VegasScoreboardExpress.com. STN Sports is the only sports betting app you need this season. STN Sports has it all. In-play betting, mobile parlay cards, the Play Plus card to fund and withdraw from anywhere in Nevada, and the latest lines on every game. STN Sports even lets you earn rewards on every bet. Safe and easy betting from your phone or tablet. Go to StationCasinoSports.com or sign up at any Station Casino, Fiesta Wildfire, or the El Cortez. Details at the Sportsbooks. You're tuned into the BSX Digital Sports Network. More fire, more heat. You're listening to the boss of the big boy. July, JP the Ticket, Vegas Scoreboard Express, waking you up early in the morning here in Las Vegas every Saturday and Sunday, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. on the East Coast. 
and all around the world on Spotify, Spreaker, TuneIn, and Apple Podcasts. So glad to have him back with us on the line. My main man, Brian Snow. Follow him on Instagram at BigSnowman721. Brian, good morning to you this morning out in Indiana. Good morning, my man. It's great to be back with you. I'm doing fabulous. I'm ready to talk some sports with you. That's what I'm talking about. And again, you guys can get these games over on Fubo TV. That's right. I'm giving you 15% off. Seven days free. You heard the new promo. No credit check, no deposit, no installation hassle. Start off, cancel anytime, but I'm saving you so much money. You definitely don't want to do that. So right now, we're going to get right into it, my man. The SEC talking some college football with you guys this morning. Had a lot of people telling me they love the college football previews because the major networks are not covering it. We talked about that on our NIL show about a year and a half ago. Ever since these young men can get paid on the football field, you're not going to see a lot from the mainstream media, but that's why you got to stay here at BSX Digital Sports Network. You can follow me on Instagram at JBTheTicket. Go to our website, VegasScoreBoardExpress.com and VSXDigitalSportsNetwork.com. So, Brian, we talked about it a little bit in the pregame. Let's jump right into it. Rotation number 101, the Georgia Bulldogs at minus 110 to repeat as the SEC Conference winner. Now, I don't see anyone topping the Georgia Bulldogs. Kirby Smart is a coach that reloads. He reloads. He sends guys to the NFL every single season and then right back at you the next year. And he's also been able to win two out of the last three national championships. I mean, you can't go too wrong with that. The only thing I don't like is that minus 110. Early favorites can sometimes disappoint, but let's talk about it. Go ahead. Man, it's all about the dogs, okay? I said it I said it the last time I was on your show, and I will say it throughout the course of the season. To be to be the champs, you must unseat the champs. And I don't see anybody unseating Georgia. It's like you said, they don't rebuild, they reload. You know, you would you would think they'd have a question at the quarterback position after uh Stetson Bennett uh departed for the NFL after a great, great career. Man, please. It's all about the dogs. The dogs are barking and they're gonna be ready to fight and defend their national championship. That what- number is that that no I don't like that number. Mm-hmm. It's too it's gonna be too easy for Georgia. Yeah, at minus one ten doesn't seem to be a lot of value, but let's talk about also dominating in the relationship where you may be able to double up some money. The SEC has divisions, okay? Big conference. We don't see anybody jumping ship from the SEC and we don't see too many people getting applications. The only team that came in was Texas A and M, but we're gonna get into them in just a second. But to win the SEC East Division, Georgia, minus 500, another easy, easy, expensive, expensive play. 500 bucks to win 100. So if you're a big-time Georgia fan and you want to lay a lot of money this year, which seems to be the case, do you think you can find some value for some of the more wealthy alumni bets, if you will? Because like you said before, Georgia is the team to beat. They won the national championship last year, handily fashion over TCU. TCU was completely overmatched. We saw that. And again, the amount of talent that they moved to the next level. So going into this season, Kirby Smart, as I said before, possibly again could be coach of the year. Carson Beck, he had some spring practice issues to replace Stetson Bennett, but they still got Brock Bowers. This is a guy. Top 10 pick if he comes out this year. Brock Bowers, from the day I saw him catch that first touchdown, Big body down in the red zone. You know that's going to be able to get you where you want to be. In the defense, always talking about that Georgia defense. So suffocating. And that's right, I said suffocating because you can't run the football against them and they've always had great DBs. So let's talk about some of the players that you think that are going to be able to step up this year and help Georgia maintain their dominance in college football. Go ahead. Let me get four key words. Brock Bowers for Heisman. If he's not on your Heisman ballot, then there's something wrong with the Heisman ballot in and of itself. I mean, since he's been a freshman, all he has done has been one of the biggest cogs in that Georgia, in that Georgia offense. Go back to the game against Alabama in Indianapolis for the national championship. How many big catches did he make? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. This guy, he's got great hands in the red zone. And then we see now with the... 
regression of the running backs, but the resurgence of the tight end position. I remember in the mid-90s, you had a lot of guys like Jay Novacek. He was always solid. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, uh, another uh, guy. Oh, my goodness. I can't even think of his name. Uh, Rag Jones. Yep, Rag Jones. Antonio Gates. These were guys from from the – Tony Gonzalez. These were stretch tight ends who could make defenses pay because they also had great blocking ability. And then moving back to the defensive side – you got Lyman's, Mikael Williams. You got safety, Malachi Starks. You've also got Jamin Demas Johnson, Smail Mondin. Georgia is reloading. If you've got the money, I can't tell you to bet against the Bulldogs, but we got to move along because the Bulldogs got a lot of grease to their arch rival, the Alabama Crimson Tide rotation number 102. These guys are giving you plus 300 now. Alabama, Nick Saban, they also have had some issues from the recruiting standpoint, getting the reload, but they've sent a lot of talent to the NFL for the last 20 years. But when you talk about it from the perspective of where they are as a team and where Nick Saban is as a coach, he's getting a little bit long in the tooth. We don't know how long he's going to want to stay. They have been very, very dynamic, but at plus 300, from a betting perspective, it's a bet that I would like but to win the SEC, like you said, you got to go through Georgia. Let's talk about it. Does Alabama have enough firepower to get past Georgia to win the SEC conference? And then we'll talk about their division in a second. Go ahead. They're not even going to see Georgia. They got to go through LSU first. Oh, LSU. LSU. <laughs> they they got to go through, they got to play a little Tiger Rag. There you to go. Get to the SEC championship, and they got to get to Atlanta. For, for me to believe in Nick Saban again this year, they have to get to Atlanta first before mm-hmm. you can think about going to Houston for the national championship. You got to go to Atlanta and you got to go through Georgia. That's a game in Georgia's backyard. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 it's tough. And the Georgia Bulldogs are stacked. But you've also got a brand new quarterback, this guy, Tommy Rees. A lot of people have been saying that he has the grease. Now, you talk about the quarterback play, what Nick Saban has been able to do, sending guys to the next level. Do you think this is going to be one of those seasons where you just have to focus on the offense in Alabama? Because if you look at it from the defensive side of the ball, they're always going to be stout on defense, but that offense has been somewhat shaky. You just don't see a lot of quarterback battles down there, but they have a Notre Dame transfer, a guy named Tyler Butchner, and he's in there with Jalen Milrow and Ty Simpson. So when you talk about it from that perspective, you look at quarterbacks, different receivers, guys who were coming in from other Power 5 and independent top schools to Alabama. We haven't really seen that over the years. We've seen them do a lot of recruiting and getting top players. But as you know, in the NIL era, guys are choosing their value over name value of school many, many times. So when you say it from that mm-hmm. perspective, at plus 300, if you go down to their division to win the SEC West, rotation number 1101, they are the favorite at minus 105. Still some value there, but talking about a favorite team, they didn't do what we thought they would do last year and losing some of the top players, not really having a lot of standout players coming at you as far as in the media and what have you. Do you think Alabama can contend at least for that SEC West division, because as you mentioned, the LSU Tigers right under them for the West crown of rotation number 1102 at plus 200. And we'll get into the Tigers and then take a short commercial break. Go ahead. You know, I'd love to see Alabama compete for the SEC West. But as I said, they got to they got to beat some Tigers. Prove to me that you have an offense that can stick around. Prove to me that you have. An offense that can run the football, Derrick Henry, hello, and then maybe I'll believe in him. But as far as the West goes, you gotta be you gotta beat some Tigers first. Gotta go through those LSU Tigers. Let's talk about them real quick. The LSU Tigers to win the division right there at rotation number 103, plus 450 on the money line. Talking about winning their division at rotation number 1102. That's the SEC West at plus 200. Now. The LSU Tigers have got some issues with the NCAA. And you know I don't really like teams that have these NCAA issues because what tends to happen is a lot of transfers, guys are playing for jockey in a position on the draft board and not necessarily playing 
for wins. Again, of course they want to win. But the reality is that the LSU Tigers, after that dominant season under Ed Ogeron, have had the coaching issues and now the NCAA issues. Haven't had a lot of standout players. But again, they can compete. And Coach Brian Kelly, they won the division title last year, and they're trying to get another one this fall. They've got Jaden Daniels, a guy who is on the Heisman radar this year at quarterback. Very dynamic, could be a first-round pick in this coming year's draft if he chooses to come out. You've been talking about these Tigers. Let's see if they can get you some money. Rotation number 103, the LSU Tigers at plus 450. You think that's a bet they can cash for you? Go ahead. Lay it down. Lay it down. I think they can cash. I think they can cash in, and I think this bet will cash. I'm counting on the Tigers to win the SEC West. Win in the SEC West. Talking about them. Rotation number 1102. That can get you plus 200. Brian, you stay locked in with us again. You guys are rocking with JB the Ticket. Vegas Scoreboard Express live here on KSHB 107.1 FM. Waking you up early in the morning every single Saturday and Sunday. 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. on your clock. You got to lock it in. Got to wake up early in the morning with JB the Ticket to get that grease to put the cash in your pocket. More SEC action when I get back from this short commercial break. Be sure to support our sponsors. Again, go to my website, VegasScoreboardExpress.com. I've got all the deals, daily deals, all the ads that you hear on the show. You can click them and you can get it. So when you get back, we're giving you more grease. So stay tuned. Well, let's get some money. You're listening to the boss of the big boy. Put your hands up for the boss. The Mix Master is live. Get ready. Giving you that great. Kick off the football season with Drizzly.com. Score big with your favorite drinks delivered right to your doorstep. From ice cold brews to game day cocktails, we've got the perfect lineup for your football gatherings. Visit VegasScoreboardExpress.com and click the Drizzly. Now let's get the party started. Drink responsibly must be of legal drinking age. Delivery and availability may vary. The Farmer's Burger from Farmer Boys. Beef, bacon, cheese, hand-smashed avocado, and fresh veggies. Best burger champ. That's how we drop the mic. Farmer Boys. Farm food ain't fast food. Farmer Boys new always crispy fries stay crispier and tastier all the way home. If they make it home. Sharing is caring. Farmer Boys. Farm food ain't fast food. Skip your cable bill this month and join the action with JB and Fubo TV. Get seven days free, 15% off your first month. No credit check, no deposit, no installation hassle. Go to FuboTV.com slash JB. Sign up, download the app, and start watching games. Enjoy being a subscriber after the first month. Easy cancellation anytime. Regional restrictions apply. Sign up at VegasScoreboardExpress.com. You're tuned into the BSX Digital Sports Network. You're listening to the boss of the big bar. If you have money, you can buy anything. JP the tech <laughs> All grease, straight grease, nothing but the grease. JB, the ticket, waking you up early in the morning every Saturday and Sunday, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. There is no time to waste. You got to put cash in your pocket with JB, the ticket, Vegas Scoreboard Express live back at here. 107.1 FM, AM 1400 is where you get the grease. 
every single Saturday and Sunday here in Las Vegas. Got my main man Brian Snow back on the line with me here. You can follow him at Big Snowman Seven Twenty One over on Instagram. Brian, the SEC is upon us, and you have been dropping grease so far with these picks. You're still there with us? Go ahead. I'm right here, man. You know what time it is? There you go. Let's yeah. jump right back into yeah. it, guys. Grab your bankroll. Hit the window and beat the line. These odds are being brought to you also by our friends and partners over at BetUS.com. I've got a great offer for you. You go to BetUS.com in a legal jurisdiction of legal age. Use offer code VSX125 when you sign up with your initial deposit. And guess what? You're going to get a 125% bonus on that deposit. $100. Get you $250. 225, depending on if you make a bet. But let's get back into it. Talking about the Texas A&M Aggies. Man, they moved over to the SEC from the Big 12. And have it been that successful? Rotation number 104. They are at plus 1,200. That is a long dog that is barking. They are dogs. The Aggies, I think they're wolves in sheep's clothing, but against your betting tickets. Jimbo Fisher, it's a make-or-break year for him. He sent Kellen Mond to the league a couple of seasons ago. He's working out trying to get himself positioned on a roster. They've also had Chase Snellenberger. He was a great tight end. He's in the league doing what he's got to do, but they haven't had much else. And when you talk about a team like Texas A&M who had guys coming in with top NIL deals, kind of breaking the ice, if you will, with that. They have been super quiet as far as winning divisions. But to win the entire conference, they are rotation number plus 1,200, that is, rotation number 104, and to win their division of the A, uh, excuse me, the SEC West, 1103 is the rotation number. Another long dog value at plus 550. Long dog odds for the Texas A&M Aggies. Go ahead, Brian. Why are they picked to be so mediocre in this conference? Go ahead. I mean, you're playing in the SEC. You got to see Alabama. You got to see LSU. You got to see Georgia. Pretty soon, you got to see Texas and Oklahoma. But what has Jimbo Fisher done since that 74 72 wild win three years ago against um, LSU? And that is that, and that was at the at Texas A and M. He hasn't done much. This is a make or break year for Jimbo Fisher, and those odds are getting longer and longer and longer. I don't trust Texas A and M, nor should you. Well, they've got Bobby Petrino in as the new offensive coordinator. A lot of people in Texas didn't like that hire, but he's got a rising star at the quarterback position, Connor Wagman. Now, this is a young guy who's come out. He's been a pretty good four-star recruit. You know, he can play at the college level. But for this team to take a step forward, we haven't seen a dynamic quarterback come out of Texas A&M in quite some time. So when you move down that list, he's got three good receivers, Aeneas Smith, Evan Stewart, and Moose Muhammad III. They're as good as any in the conference, but when you talk about it from the perspective of betting, that running back position – Five-star freshman Reuben Owens is coming in trying to fill that position. That was left by Devon Arcane. But the reality is the running back position overall to get to the next level has been devalued. And I don't like a team, even in college, if they can win. Because, like I said before, Bobby Petrino, we know he likes to air it out. Do you think that the run game of the Texas A&M Aggies could be surprising this year if they're going to rely possibly on a freshman to come in and take more snaps for them. I don't know who they've got on the other side of that in the third, second, and you know maybe fourth depth chart position. But when you talk about those Aggies, they've always had a really balanced team. They could compete, but like you said, they haven't really done anything in this conference to make you want to put a lot of money on them. I've seen these guys blow minus seven spreads at home, and I've also seen them cover plus two and a half on the road. So it's been a flip flop with these guys at plus 1200 to win the division. Do you think Texas A&M can stay on your betting board as a division champion or just pick a few games here and there in that division? Go ahead. Pick a few games here and there when it comes to Texas A&M because you're talking about a team that lost to Appalachian State while they were ranked in the top team. That kind of 
socked them in the mouth, and they haven't recovered since. If they're going to rely on the running game, then they need to rely on the running game all the way. Yeah, I know they love to air it out. I know this is a pass. This the football has become a passers game, but at the same time, you got to you you got to run the football. And if you don't run the football, then you got some problems, and they're going to have some problems this year. They're going to have some problems. I am right there with you. The team that was very surprising last year, moving down that rotation list line, one o five, the Tennessee Volunteers. Wow, did they make some great improvements last year. Tennessee was probably one of the teams that over the years we've seen them kind of teeter-totter, almost falling off that cliff into obscurity. But at plus 1,400 to win the division, rotation number 105, the Tennessee Volunteers, their division odds to win the SEC East at plus 500 at rotation number 602. And these are rotation numbers, again, you guys can get over at our friends at Bet US. So talking about it again. Another team that really did well last year, the Tennessee Volunteers. We thought that they could possibly maybe get to that college football playoff, but it didn't happen. Okay. They had some good wins. All right. They beat Virginia. They won at Florida, South Carolina, Texas A&M. I mean, they were doing what they had to do. Had a couple of soft dogs in there, though. Austin Pay, Missouri, Vanderbilt, stuff like that. But again, they lost to Alabama, Kentucky, and Georgia. So they're talking about a dog that's barking here, rotation number 1602 in that SEC East division at plus 500. To win that entire division or to win that entire conference, I think it's going to be a tall order for Tennessee to get the entire conference at plus 1400. Could be attractive for some of those alumni, but I don't want to see people making bets on a team that may not be as good as they should be. And again, the consensus is, they could possibly go back to maybe a five, six win team may or may not make a bowl game. I'm not very excited about what I'm hearing coming out of Tennessee. The over and under on them for the total season is nine wins. So talk to me about these volunteers. Go ahead, Brian. Joe Milton the third is the man you have to watch at the quarterback position as he goes Tennessee. It's true with everybody in the SEC with the quarterback being stacked up. I'll tell you, two key losses that stopped Tennessee from getting to the playoff. They lost to Georgia on the road, and they got obliterated by South Carolina on the road. They get into any of those two, they get even in any of those two games, then they're in the playoff, and we're not even having this conversation of how good Georgia is, but Georgia's just that good. Joe Milton is the man you need to watch at the quarterback position. As he goes, Tennessee goes, and Tennessee has got some good odds to win the division, but at the same time, like I said, I'm leaning on LSU to win that division also. I just think Jaden Daniels is going to do a little bit more than Joe Milton, but hey, as Chris Berman says best, that's why we play the game. That's why we play the game, and that's why you guys got to watch these games over on our partners, FuboTV.com slash JB. 15% off and send you a lot of money to save in your pocket. You don't got to deal with all that cable stuff. Moving right along down this list, another team that has been very, very interesting. They were powerhouses about 20 years ago. Haven't done too much since then. The Florida Gators, rotation number 109. These guys are at plus 8,000 to win this division. You're talking about a dog barking. Florida at plus 8,000. Am I missing something yep. here? Are they lacking talent? Are they lacking recruits? Do they have an issue with the NCAA? Because I have never seen them picked this low in the division. You're talking about a Florida Gators team that has had their issues, yes, over the past couple of seasons, but they're still the Florida Gators. And any time you've got to go down to the swamp, I think playing four or five games down there, the over and under total for this team is five wins, okay? They had some easy wins last year versus McNeese State, Charlotte, Vanderbilt, Kentucky, but they lost to the powerhouses. They lost to Utah, Tennessee, at South Carolina last year. Of course, they lost to Georgia, LSU, and they lost to a relatively tepid Florida State team. So Florida has had some issues, okay? And they're talking about these quarterbacks. You got Graham Mertz back there, Jack Miller the third. They're still having that battle before the fall i've heard that camp has been going well but again nobody is picking these guys do you think that these 
Florida Gators could possibly be one of these dogs that are barking that's going to come out and make a splash this year. Go ahead. Not a chance. <laughs> they've had they, they they will cruise along in their season and then they get beat to death by georgia it's going to happen again in jacksonville it's not with anybody going down into the swamp that's going to have a problem it's florida going to have problems going up to jacksonville wow so they're going to cruise along again they see charlotte they see vanderbilt they have to go to South Carolina on October the 14th. They got to see right. McNeese State on September 9th. And they have to go to Utah. That first game is going to tell everything about their season because Utah surprised Florida last year in the swamp. Now they have to go out to the mountains. Tennessee has to go. Tennessee has to come down to the swamp. Five wins. That's a stretch. Wow. Right. Five wins. You're not even giving them five wins. Man, I'm telling you. But you guys are listening to a champion. My main man, Brian Snow. Follow him over on Instagram at Big Snowman 721 Check out his show, Snowman in the Morning. Again, Brian, we're going to finish out some of these other long dogs here in the SEC. Again, thank you so much for stopping by the big board with me this morning. The team that surprised a lot of people last year that they competed for the SEC championship but they couldn't get over the hump. Kentucky rotation number 112. These guys are at plus 10,000. Another long dog that is barking. If they can get lucky, they might be able to compete in their division. But again, you got to go past Georgia. Got to get past LSU. Got to get past Alabama. These are the stalwarts in the entire conference. But they are an interesting pick to win the SEC division at plus 4,000 odds. You got Georgia sitting right there at the top. But that's the only team that I feel that this Kentucky team can't really beat. The rest of the teams are in play. Rotation number 1605, the Kentucky Wildcats at plus 4,000. Talk to me about these guys' odds, and then we'll let you get out of here back to your day. Again, you guys listening to Brian Snow over at Snowman in the Morning, VSX Digital Sports Contributor. He's also going to be a host this fall. Go ahead on these Wildcats. Good luck. Will Levis is gone. A couple of the other weapons are gone. Good luck. All right. If I would love for Kentucky to surprise me, but as I said, to be the champs, you got to beat the champs. And right now, the division champs are LHU and Georgia. Beat one of them, then we'll talk. That's what I'm talking about. My main man, Brian Snow, thank you so much for stopping by the big board this morning. Any final shout-outs before I let you go? You guys are also in listener land here in Las Vegas and around the world are going to want to stay tuned because we're jumping right into the NFL preseason talk with my main man, Ron Third Down Best Bets. But again, Brian, thank you so much for stopping by. Let's get those shout-outs and get you to your day, my friend. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My beautiful wife, Jody, my daughter, Sonia, my other daughter, uh, Cheyenne, my son, Dakota, and anybody and everybody that's... Uh, uh, that's tuned in to Snowman in the Morning. I appreciate you. This fall, coming to Vegas. Snowman in the Morning is coming to Vegas. And don't be surprised to make an appearance on Radio Row in Vegas in February. That's what I'm talking about. JP, the ticket, Vegas Scoreboard Express, bringing you top quality talent. Love my main man, Brian Snow. Snowman in the Morning. Thank you so much, Brian, for stopping by the big board this morning. And you guys, thank you so much for listening. We're going to be back after this short sponsor break. Again, support our new sponsors, Drizzly.com. Go over to VegasScoreboardExpress.com. I've got it all set up for you. If you're over age 21 here in the U.S. and you don't want to drink and drive, you guys know I hate that drinking and driving. Don't do that. You sit in your house. We'll drop it off right to your front door. Get you where you want to be. Got some great discounts for you over at Drizzly.com. And, of course, our partners over at Fubo TV and BetUS. So you guys stay tuned. When I get back from this short commercial break, me and Ron are going to break down some of that football action that you had yesterday and give you a couple of picks today if you like betting that preseason. So it's all about the grease, all money, all sports, no bull. JB the ticket and Vegas Scoreport Express. Let's get the money. You're listening to the boss of the big ball. JB the ticket.
Skip your cable bill this month and join the action with JB and Fubo TV. Get seven days free, 15% off your first month. No credit check, no deposit, no installation hassle. Go to FuboTV.com slash JB. Sign up, download the app, and start watching games. Enjoy being a subscriber after the first month. Easy cancellation anytime. Regional restrictions apply. Sign up at VegasScoreboardExpress.com. Jumper's Jungle Family Fun Center is an indoor children's jump and party space in Las Vegas located at 2050 South Rainbow Boulevard. Kids of all ages can come and jump on our bouncers, race through the obstacle courses, speed down the mega slides, slam dunk into the basketball hoops, and much more. Are you looking for that perfect birthday party venue? Look no further. Jumper's Jungle has a party package that will fit your needs. Check out the open play schedule online at jumpersjungle.com or call 702-463-JUMP. It's time to jump your way to fun at Jumper's Jungle on the corner of Oki and Rainbow. Kick off the football season with Drizzly.com. Score big with your favorite drinks delivered right to your doorstep. From ice cold brews to game day cocktails, we've got the perfect lineup for your football gatherings. Visit VegasScoreboardExpress.com and click the Drizzly. Now let's get the party started. Drink responsibly must be a legal drinking age. Delivery and availability may vary. Always spitting that exclusive fire. JB, the ticket, Vegas, scoreboard express. Waking you up early in the morning here on KSHB 107.1 FM. Waking you up early in the morning, AM 1400. You guys got to stick with us every single Saturday and Sunday. We're giving you the grease. And right now I'm bringing him on the line with me, my main man, Ron, third down best bets. You can follow him over on Instagram at Raider Hawk one We're about to jump into this NFL preseason talk. Ron, good morning. How you doing? Good morning. I'm good, buddy. How are you? I am feeling great, man. Football is back. We got college football on deck. We got the NFL ready to go, locked and loaded. But before we get into it, had some bad news come out of Raiders training camp yesterday. Devontae Adams has got a leg injury. Talk to me about it, Ron. I know you're all over this story. And again, this is being brought to you by Fubo TV. Go over to FuboTV.com. No cable hassle. Just get ready to watch the game. So this guy's 30 years old. He's got a right leg injury. They haven't given any information. As you know, the Raiders have been very, very quiet this offseason as far as doing interviews and promotion of the squad and what they can do. But we're not liking what we see. They did the joint practice yesterday with the San Francisco 49ers. And of course, someone did something dirty. And he left with a right leg injury. So talk about how this possibly changes those chances for the Raiders. We've already seen a couple of big line movements not only for their first game of the week but also for the division their pick last in the AFC West and right now with Devontae Adams going down with that leg injury do you think this is going to be something that could affect the start of their season go ahead it possibly could from what I've heard this morning it's not as serious as was originally thought so I don't know at this point how long he's going to be out but I don't think it's you know five six weeks anything to that extent so they're they're they are they're being very quiet about it. They're keeping it very close to the vest. So, but that's what I heard this morning from um, Josh McDaniels. I heard a report that said that not serious. Well, that's good. That's good. We need to keep the momentum going. Again, the big game is going to be hosted here in Las Vegas at Allegiant Stadium. So, got to keep our guys healthy. Let's jump into some of this NFL preseason again being brought to you by our folks over at Drizzly.com. That's right. Get your alcohol delivered right to your front door. No need to drink and drive. No need to pay all those expensive fees when you get over to the grocery store or get out in the heat or the rain, whatever you may be dealing with. And also want to give a shout out and a blessing over to our friends in the great state of Hawaii and the island of Maui going through their tragedy. Our thoughts and prayers are here with you at VSX. 
A lot of football fans. I want to give a shout out to the Uso family. You guys were rocking with me over at the NFL alumni meeting on Thursday. Thank you so much for that. And we know that you guys are doing all you can. We have a big poly and, uh, you know, Polynesian community here, Pacific Islander community, Hawaiian community here in Las Vegas. So again, thank you guys for supporting the show and listening to us. I've got a lot of Hawaiian friends, a lot of folks of the same culture and same ilk. They love when JB the ticket goes over to the house and cooks those ribs. But like I'm saying, our prayers go out to you. Talking about some of this preseason yesterday. Very interesting game. We talked about them yesterday on my Instagram. You can follow my Instagram, JB the ticket. The Detroit Lions. Look at that. These guys got to win. And I don't care where the Detroit Lions get a win. It can be preseason in the parking lot. Does not matter. They got to win. They beat the New York Giants yesterday in the preseason, 21 to 16. And you're talking about some of these players that they had out there. They got Nick Sudfield. This guy's still kicking around, trying to stay on rosters, collecting checks. That's why I like watching preseason, because you always see these guys that you don't really see in the regular season, and they get a chance to shine. They get some footage for their families. But most importantly, they're getting checks, man, and that's what it's all about here, getting the money. So you got Nick Sudfield. This guy threw for 194 yards, no picks, no touchdowns. But, again, mistake-free football is the scheme of the year for the Detroit Lions. So talking about it on just what you were seeing from that defensive side of the ball, Giants were good, played a lot of rookies. I didn't see any issues with the New York Giants. Again, the effort, I'm not looking for these guys to do a lot, but you're also talking about a player that has been kicking around the league for quite some time. You got Tyrod Taylor. He's back out there trying to get on the roster. He did pretty decent, three of four. He had seven yards, just a couple of pitch downs, but they got this guy DeVito for New York. Young guy, Tommy DeVito. I mean, come on. I mean, you're playing in New York. New York Giants. Doing what you do, that's a heck of a name. But talk about the Detroit Lions again, 21-16. to 16, Put a little bit of grease in your pocket. They seem to be a team this year who's looking for a vast improvement. We talked about that NFC North a couple of weeks ago here on the show. I didn't, again, I didn't see any issues with the offensive scheme or the defensive scheme. So when the first string guys get in there, do you think it's just going to kick up a notch for the Lions and they can kind of keep this momentum going? Because I know a lot of people say preseason doesn't matter. I tell you, look, you don't know anything about sports betting and you don't know anything about putting cash in your pocket. It does matter because you have to look at the schemes, the way the plays are being called. This is the scrimmage, just like for high school back in the day. So working out the kinks with the second and third string guys, I like what the Lions were doing last night. Go ahead. Yeah, I think the the coaching staff got the schemes right finally after all these years. I like what they're doing. Dan Campbell's done a good job. I mean, they were when he got there, everybody thought he was not the guy, you know, because the way he was acting in his interview, he got a little aggressive and kind of freaky. People kind of freaked out on him, but he's actually done a really good job. He steadied the ship, and they're actually a viable team now. I mean, they're not. I mean, with the Lions for years, we both know you you didn't know what you're going to get, but mostly it was going to be a loss, you know. Right. Right. Now they're good. They're a good team. I mean, they can beat you on any given Sunday. I, mean, I like the play calling yesterday, too. It was very, very, very clean, okay? Didn't do too many attempts on the rushing side of the ball. I mean, they had a long list of guys. They had Brian Snell, Josh Gibbs. You had uh, Anthony Martinez, the quarterback, getting out there. A couple of runs from Nick Subfeld. He had a run or two. You had uh, Micah Ibrahim, running back position. We're seeing it a lot across, excuse me, Mohamed Ibrahim. We have a lot of teams that have maybe four or five running backs in camp. I told you that the free agency deals weren't going to get done for these guys. They were going to come in as really unrestricted free agents. So on the rushing side of the football, Detroit has a lot of running backs. Saw 11 attempts, 31 yards from the possible starter here in Divino Zigbo. That's not going to get it done, man. So again... <laughs> From the offensive side of the ball, they look like they're going to rely mostly on the pass with Jared Goff. They've got some quality receivers, but again, I like the play calling. When you go to the running back position, though, what are your thoughts? They traded away Devontae Smith or DeAndre Smith, excuse me, from Georgia. They picked up one of his, you know, cohorts and alumni. Do you think that these guys are going to actually be able to compete for this division? I think they will because the Green Bay Packers, there's no Aaron Rodgers and the rest of the teams are up for grabs. Chicago Bears, you got Justin Fields. We'll talk about that a little bit because, again, the Houston Texans, similar situation happened with them. We'll get into it. But the Detroit Lions, I've been giving them a lot of grease because I think they're going to really compete this year. But go ahead. Yeah, I think they can. I think they still have James Williams as a running back, right? Starting running back. That's why they traded Swift, I think. Right. So I think 
they should be loaded with running back. He was really good last year. He's he's as long as he's healthy, they're good. They're covered. I think the key with them is going to be Jared Goss. Mm-hmm. He's been very inconsistent in his career. Well, I mean, it's as I mean, you know, it is what it is. He just hasn't. He just hasn't had the proper, you know, coaching. He didn't get along with McVay with the uh, Rams. He was very good with the Rams, got these guys to a Super Bowl, but then everything kind of began to change, and he's found a place in Detroit. And one thing about that city is that you can play quarterback there for a long time. They're not like the Cleveland Browns where they're going to yank you every single six weeks or try to get somebody in the draft every year. He can be a stalwart there because we saw it with uh, Matthew Stafford. You know, his 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 trade-off, he can play there. And if he stays healthy and remains consistent and not throw the ball to the other team because he used to be a huge pick monster, again, the Detroit Lions, keep them circled on your betting list. Let's move into another game that we saw yesterday that was quite interesting. The Pittsburgh Steelers, another excellent play call game. Beating up on the Buccaneers, 27-17. to I liked what I saw there, Ron, and you also saw Baker Mayfield show some promise for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Eight of nine, 63 yards, and a TD. So you talk about Tampa Bay trying to bounce back from the Tom Brady years and the issues with the Antonio Brown situation, but also talking about these Pittsburgh Steelers who, again, a lot of people are not picking them to be as dominant as they would in that AFC North, but I'm mentioning them again for the play calling. They had a heck of a play call game yesterday. You got a guy like Mason Rudolph back there that nobody likes from the little incident that he had a couple years ago with Miles Garrett. You got Kenny Pickett coming in again, him being a young rookie, still got needing to get a few reps. Six of seven, 70 yards, a touchdown. You gotta love that. I didn't even know he was still kicking around. You got Mitch True Pick Me. He's down there fourth on the depth chart. One of four for ten yards. So, again, Kenny Pickett, the projected starter, but Mason Rudolph yesterday showed that he's a very good backup. And Kenny Pickett, the high draft pick, we know he's going to be the man under center if he stays healthy in this preseason, doesn't have a freak injury. I think the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to surprise a lot of people. That offensive play calling was much better than I thought it would be, and they didn't have to rely so much on the run. They did have Anthony McFarlane. He picked up a touchdown. But, again, they didn't do as much as I thought they would do as far as getting running backs involved out of the backfield. But again, Anthony McFarlane, very, very good young running back, red zone threat. I think that's where they're going to be using the running back position for Pittsburgh because what I saw, they run it once or twice, didn't work. Let's go ahead and get to that short passing game and try to extend the field. Go ahead. Yeah, I agree. I like this team as well. And they have some young talent on that offense. People don't talk about uh, George Pickens is a really – not talked about receiver who people are going to hear about this year. Yes. This, this guy catches everything. He's got hands like clue. He's really good. Very, very good young um, receiver, man. They didn't, play, they didn't play Najee Harris. Last night. Did they play him last night? The starter, Najee Harris? Oh, no, Harris? no, no. Didn't get too much. The only I was very surprised to see Kenny Pickett, but again, he was a rookie who was kind of green last year. They want to get him a few more reps, kind of get him used to the offense, and he did very, very well. He got better every game last year, Kenny Pickett. He's going to be a good quarterback. He improved every game last year. He really did. Now let's talk a little bit about the team that surprised me, and when we get back from the short commercial break, we'll give you a couple of dog picks here in this preseason. Again, you rocking with JB the Ticket and Vegas Scoreboard Express. My main man, Ron, third down, best bets. The Green Bay Packers last night went out and mollywopped the Cincinnati Bengals on the road 36 to 19. I was shocked, man. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. These guys are balling, and they didn't even really go with Jordan Love. They had this guy come out of nowhere, Sean Clifford. Let's give him a little piece of grease here. Sean Clifford, man, 20 of 26, 208 yards in the air, a touchdown. He did throw two picks, though. That's the one thing I didn't like. But you did have Jordan Love come in and keep it consistent. He was able to give you 7 to 10, 46 yards in a TD. But this was the team that relied on the run. You had this young man, I'm telling you, Emmanuel Wilson. He's going to be a guy to watch out for on this team for the Green Bay Packers. This guy tore it up last night and was running over absolutely every single body. Six attempts, 111 yards, two touchdowns, an 80-yard straight drag him down the field. Blowout touchdown. This 
Green Bay Packers team, I know I said I didn't like them in the preseason. They could be kind of surprising based on their offensive scheme. They look like they're going to use a big running attack. And from what I saw last night, the offensive line is poised to open up those holes for the running backs. Good job, Emmanuel Wilson. Let's go ahead, and then we'll get this commercial break, Ron. Go ahead. Yeah, Green Bay could be tough. I, I think uh, – I don't know if they're going to win the division. It's all about Jordan Love. You know, if he plays mistakes with free football, they got a good shot. That's going to be the key. Well, you heard it here, my main man, Ron, third down best bets. Ron, any shout-outs before I take this short commercial break, and then we're going to get out of here for the betting day. Again, you guys have been rocking with us here in Las Vegas. Thank you so much. want to give a shout-out to my main man, Brian Snow. Snowman in the morning. Follow him over on Instagram at BigSnowman721 for that SEC analysis. You guys will catch the replay on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, TuneIn, or wherever you get your podcast and radio app location music from. But, Ron, those shout-outs, we'll take a break, and then we'll jump right back. Go ahead. Yeah, first I want to get my brother one, my key fan brother, Richard Best. Get better soon, bro. Football's coming. Football season yeah, is here. Got to mention the big boy, Linwood Hamilton. There you gotta go. Talk about talk about Linwood got Hard Rock Hamilton. That's right. Linwood Hard Rock Hamilton, defender of the youth. Got that documentary going out there. Very, very good documentary. And again, it's one of those things that we. I went to a, a movie premiere last night, Las Vegas uh, Film Festival movie premiere. We watched a great film called Title Shot. You guys got to Google that. Title Shot. It was absolutely fantastic want to give a shout out and a thanks to all the people that were there to put that together for me you get to see a lot of young boxers the flushing flash you had kevin kelly in there the late great irish bobby cassidy also the story was about a young ugandan boxer from back in the day godfrey niakana so you guys be sure to check that out title shot google it tell them jb the ticket sent you when i get back from this short commercial break we're going to bring more grease all money all sports no bull vegas scoreboard express let's get the money Listening to the boss of the big ball, JP the Ticker. Vegas Scoreboard Express. Kick off the football season with Drizzly.com. Score big with your favorite drinks delivered right to your doorstep. From ice cold brews to game day cocktails, we've got the perfect lineup for your football gatherings. Visit VegasScoreboardExpress.com and click the Drizzly. Now let's get the party started. Drink responsibly must be a legal drinking age. Delivery and availability may vary. JP, the ticket, Vegas Scoreboard. Express, I'm back at you live here in Las Vegas. Getting ready to sign off. Got my main man, Ron, third down. Best bets on the line with me. Ron, good morning. Thank you so much for stopping by. We're getting ready to get out of here to get folks over to their sports betting day. Taking a look at some of the picks right now that we've got on the line for the preseason. Who do you like today? Because it's one of those games where I told you that if you look at the preseason football, it is an opportunity to make money. But there's a couple of teams out there today. Let's take a look at it. Rotation number 121. You got those Indianapolis Colts going out to Buffalo. They're minus three and a half. Who do you think can possibly put some grease in your pocket? Go ahead. Well, I'm going to go with the Colts only because I think Anthony Richardson is going to get some playing time, and I think everybody's really excited to see what he can do. He looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely a great prospect. I think that there's an opportunity there for him to maybe make a little bit of noise, but like I said before, it's just so much issues with the back office and Jim Mercer. I'm going with the Buffalo Bills on here. Put some cash in your pocket, but that's going to do it for here. Vegas Scoreboard Express, my main man, Rod Third Down, best bets. Thank you so much for stopping by this morning, the big board. My guy, Brian Snow, you guys tune in tomorrow. Going to have the Big Ten with John Ryan, Predictive Sports Playbook Channel, and a couple other special guests to keep that football season going. Again, you guys get ready to rock with us. JB the Ticket, let's get the money. You're listening to the boss of the big The World Famous Radio Shopping Show weekday on 1400 KSHP North Las Vegas and KSHP.com.